Everybody wants to get sick, especially around the holidays when there's so much to do. The old school prescription to fight a cold is chicken soup and plenty of rest. But in the age of technology, chicken soup has even gone high tech. Dr. Jennifer Trachtenberg, an MD and pediatrician, is with us this morning. Good morning, Dr. Jen. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, we're so happy to have you, especially this time of year. You know, people don't normally associate technology with health. So tell us, how can technology help keep us healthy? Well, it's so important, and that's why I'm here to talk about it today. In fact, kids get somewhere between five to nine colds a year, and it's pretty wow. inevitable. There are things that you can do to help, but sometimes they are going to get sick, and that's why there are some home gadgets that are helpful. And it's really why I wanted to partner with the makers of some of these products here today to Great. really um, help parents know what to do and to comfort their, their kids while they're at home. Well, what are some of the new health technologies that are available to us, especially this season? Well, one of the first devices is really to have a humidifier. And that's okay. one of my tips. You want to get that moisture back into the air. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends using a humidifier to help relieve coughs and cold and congestion so your children can sleep better. And also, obviously, for adults as well, too. Well, that's a great um, want... thing here in New Mexico because it's very dry here and we don't get any humidity. So, yeah, it's great for no frizz in the hair, but not so good for the health. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you want to look for that newer technology, this Vicks Germs Free Humidifier. Okay. Uses a UV light uh, chamber inside that helps to uh, eliminate 99% of the mold and bacteria in the water. So that's really important too. Perfect. Well, what yeah. gadgets are, I mean, you're a pediatrician. What are you using that you can now bring to the homes? I mean, you're also a mother of three. So what, exactly. what do you recommend that you use in the home in addition to the humidifier? Right. Well, one thing I want to talk about is the, is the thermometers. This new one is called the Braun Thermoscan, and it's an okay. ear thermometer. It's actually the gold standard, and um, it's used by more pediatricians and moms than any other brand, and that's really because of its accuracy. Oh. Um, it is an, yeah, it is an ear thermometer, so it's easy to do. You get reliable uh, readings each time. And, you know, especially in one time, to knowing the temperature and the fever is important because fever may be that first sign that your child um, is getting a flu rather than just a cold. And also it's when they're most contagious, so they should really stay home from school if they do have a fever. Well, that's great advice, and I know a lot of kids squirm when they see that thermometer. So I think in the ear probably is something a little easier for them to handle. Much easier, quicker, and accurate, too. You know, I just did want to go back for a second because you were talking about the dryness, especially in Albuquerque. Yes. Um, that, you know, people don't know what the humidity is in their home, and that actually brings me to this other gadget. It's oh, good. Really, uh, it's a really inexpensive gadget. It's called a hygrometer. I don't know. Many people might have not seen this before, but it gives you a digital a hygrometer. It gives you the digital readout of the humidity in your home. Oh, and wow. Really, yeah, and so you can use this in conjunction with your humidifier. And what you're aiming for is somewhere between 40 to 60 percent, because that's that comfort zone that really feels good for your skin. Um, it you know, helps the, the flakiness and the dryness. Um, it also helps to, to moisten airway, so you feel better when you're sleeping as well, too. And in fact, there was some new research that showed that the flu virus is less likely uh, to live in uh, surfaces and in the air if the uh, humidity is somewhere between 40 to 60 percent. So it's sort of a Ooh. handy little gadget. That is such good advice, and that is definitely advice we really need to take here because yeah. I mean, I even notice myself, I feel like I'm always moisturizing. I always have to drink water. You feel very dry. So it's good, and it's good to know 40 to 60. That's good to know. Yeah, 40 to 60 is that key, okay. is that key amount. And when um, we and want, go, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, okay. Well, last thing I was just going to say, you know, we're talking definitely a lot about cold and flu because it's right. winter, but also there's allergies, and it's not just mm. outdoor allergens, but we get allergens inside. In fact, the EPA estimates that the allergens indoor may be two to five times higher than outdoor. So one way to help with this is an air purifier. Oh, and the good. one that we yeah, the one that we have here is a great one. It's called the Honeywell three in one. Okay. And really it has three different technologies um, that make it work that really eliminates ninety nine point nine percent of mold and bacteria and also helps to remove um, household odors and even uh, pet dander if you have pets at home. So again making the air cleaner and uh, more comfortable to breathe. That's awesome. I love that. And is there anything else that you would recommend in addition uh, well, to these products? Yeah, well, besides these products, again, any time for colds and flu, you want to make sure that you're getting plenty of fluids. Okay. You need to get rest. And, you know, it is very contagious, so it's important to stay home from school or work until you really are feeling better. And also, you'll get your rest and help your immunity uh, to get back on track. But and I know people... Well, 
Chicken soup is still a pretty good remedy when you're sick, though, too, right? Oh, it's definitely. It's one of my. It's one of my first um, prescriptions I tell patients to have is that is chicken it? soup. Yeah, there's some magic ingredient that really we don't know of besides uh, um, it helping um, to breathe easier with the steam and the lots of the liquids. But there's something in there too that actually helps you to heal and get better faster too. So keep on drinking that chicken soup. Well, I know my grandmother and my mom would agree. <laughs> and exactly. I, I appreciate all your very helpful advice. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Dr. Thanks. Jen. People can go to Cold and Flu Central, too, if they want to get um, more information and more tips. Thanks. Fabulous. Thank you so much. And stay healthy.